more wild California wildfire coverage now. This year has been one of the busiest and most destructive wildfire seasons on record. And to get more firefighters on the front lines fighting the blazes, the state is considering changes to its inmate firefighter program. But it is certainly not without controversy. Here's Action News reporter Brittany Nielsen with a closer look. We've had a record year this year that only eclipsed the record of wildfires that we had last year. So if that's the trend for the future, we want to make sure that we have enough inmates available to fight those fires because they make up such a big part of the state's effort. Currently, only minimum security inmates with no history of violent crimes can participate. Starting next year, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation is proposing adding inmates convicted of violent offenses, like assaults and robberies, if their security classification level has been reduced after years of good behavior. So we're expanding the criteria by just a little bit to consider some inmates who in the past might have been excluded because of their crime, but maybe we can include them because of their good behavior over the last 10 years or so in prison. The Firefighters Union supports plans to have inmates on the fire lines, but worries changes could compromise the security of all firefighters. If the inmate has a violent background, then of course anybody who works around inmates with violent background is concerned about their own safety. The Department of Corrections is not considering letting any and all inmates fight fires. Arsonists, kidnappers, sex offenders, gang members, and inmates serving life sentences would be kept behind bars and off fire lines. Because even though we're expanding the criteria for the inmates we're going to select from, we are not going to compromise the quality of the inmates that we ultimately pick to go in the camp. We can't afford it any more than the public can. And the concern is real. Department of Corrections reports over the past 10 years that even with nonviolent inmates, there have been hundreds of assaults, cases of weapons possession, and other crimes. When they're fighting fires, inmates are kept in minimum security camps guarded by correctional officers. There have been an average of nine escapes a year, but since 2011, all but one have been recaptured. If they're lacking uh, inmates to do the job, they need to ask themselves, Cal Fire and Corrections, do we need to bring on more professional firefighters and, uh, and less inmates? The policy changes are pending final approval with the Corrections Department, but that won't be the end of the debate. The state's Department of Forestry and Fire Protection must also sign off on the changes. Brittany Nielsen, KSBW, Action News 8.